You know, I don't know if she has sauerkraut grits. It's really oh, sister oh, friend. Stop eating it. that. <laughs> yeah, you might want to use some heavy duty stitch. This bird. I got some. I brought some two o like the big stuff. Okay. Crop. That's the big stuff. Okay. Do we have uh, something to absorb? Would you like a bench like or cleanse. or anything to sit on? Huh? Would no, you like a stool? I'm, I'm fine. But you might want eye protection for this area right here. And then um, I something to absorb. Okay. So do you want to put would a towel? Get, would you get some an old towel? Okay, so here's where I, 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 it's hard to hold her and show. No, I, I got it. I got it. I got it. I, I but can see no, it. I can see the, the mm -hmm. like right there. Do you see that? That dimple right in the middle right there? That's the crop opening. Yep, yep. I see. I see. This right here is scarred a little bit. I don't know if it's scar or super glue. Soft. Probably super glue. Sorry, she, sweetheart. That's part of where she tore. Okay. All right. Let's do this. I yep, this will work just fine. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Close your eyes or block your face. Okay. You might not oh, need to. Mm -hmm. Let me. Can I sit down on that, Jill? I think I can hold the the bird. Right I'm not squatting. I'm in my ballet skirt, and my oh, denim shirt. Just great. the finest. My, like my patient. My patients move all the time. Okay. So you might need four hands because where she's holding her around the legs and wings is perfect oh, and then you to maybe come in and reach in. See what she's doing right there is really important but then that gives the, the chicken has leverage to, to back out. So it needs what this is doing and what that is doing. Yeah, fantastic. Okay. She seems to feel it on the outer viscera better more than the crop. Yeah. I'm learning so much about chickens. The, I don't think the she innervation of each is probably different. Because her, it's not puffy like it was last night. So maybe the antibiotics and the... Yeah. She's been she rinsing it externally with the same antibiotic also. Well, there's a number of reasons why you get wound dehiscence. The number one is infection that I see. Number two is inappropriate closure. Check. Mm -hmm. oh, possible. And number uh, three with my patients is they walk all over it. She didn't walk all over it because she can't. It's not her foot. Yeah, but she's pecked at it lots. Yeah, that could be. Well, sweetheart, I'm going to put some stitches in there that you might not be able to get out, or you might be able to, and there's nothing we can do. We got a little cone for her, like a little dog. Cone for Shane. We can put a, we can put a, uh, a little bra around Excuse me. Her. I'm going to make a crop. It's called a crop, right? You just make it like pen, how do you say, pen, whatever it's called. I can see the crop now. There's a little bit of like a scar tissue on the left, and then you can see the open crop over here. Bossy, okay. you're so lucky. Any other farm? Well, I told my kids when I was coming over here, Dad, what are you gonna do? I was like, I'm gonna do the opposite of butchering a chicken. <laughs> Do you guys do any meat chickens or you just... Do... I grew up doing meat chickens. We're not doing them right now with our kids, not that we're anti it. I've had to... Uh, I did have to put one out of its misery. Oh, nice. How did you do that? Well, um, that? my dog, this is before our dog stayed away from him. That's her wing pushing under My there. dog got a hold of one and didn't finish the job. And so I just, humanely as I could, used a hatchet and a chopping block. Well, the oh, thing okay. is, now that we know she's allergic, or that chickens respond so badly to lidocaine, if I did need to put her down, like, I could do it so easily. I have an unending supply of lidocaine. <gasps> we had to put one down. But okay, now I can see that. The that's the crop. Well, we put her in a plastic bag. She had... Yeah, we got a mm -hmm. legit guy she's doing this doing job. Great. I can see her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't watch. It's okay. Mm -hmm. But she's... She's, fine as as she's as being as still. As she's not really bothered she's by it. She's totally fine. Yep, and he's cleaning it up and getting it ready so that there's so proper surfaces to, to put together. The story. Yeah, the, none of this will close. This will not close without a fresh margin. Oh, yes. She'll get that fresh margin, okay. That's happy Do you know what right that means? There. It means yeah. a new one. Yeah. tell me after. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> okay, I need to separate this out. This is what he does, though, is he takes tissue that has... Um, has Gorgeous. That's nice, healthy tissue right there. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. He takes that's healthy tissue. tissue. Cross, huh? Yeah, that's healthy tissue. That's healthy tissue. This is okay. not. Okay. So this has to go away. You should watch from over here, John. Come behind me. She's fine. She's, She's really fine. calm. Well, as long as you can still feel her heartbeat. She's moving her beak a lot. Okay, that's the innards of her crop. This tissue right here needs to be debrided. Right Michael, 
thank you so much because I was going to feel like I killed mm. this chicken. Well, she was going to maybe go that way anyway, so you guys did what you could. But I do have a funny story about doing the same exact thing, but not on a chicken. On a human? On a do oh, I do this on humans all the time. <laughs> but on a dog. So that's going to go inside. A crop? No, so what happened? I'll tell you when I'm done. Yeah, she didn't like that. Oh, sorry, sorry. That layer of tissue. Yeah, she was oh. Is that her wing come, like, in her, her, it, see how there's something trying to push me up around She's the neck? Like, yeah. This right here? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not I'm not sure. That's her, my, her, her, my chicken anatomy. Oh, that's her breastbone. Yeah, my chicken She's, anatomy is, I she's I really was, thin. There we go. Yep. See if I had had it sooner, none of this would have happened. So this side right here is dead tissue, which is why well, she's not really angry about me touching this. it. Oh, hey. You feed them olive oil. oil. Just like you're doing the water, she'll take a, a, a syringe of olive oil and right down the chickens. It, it, it greases them up, helps everything slide through. Mm -hmm. Not when there's, as an avoidance of the problem. You know, kind of like maintenance. Help keep them healthy. Right. See, also, sometimes she thought she was getting something. She mm -hmm. so Since you're homeschooled, maybe when I have a doctor that's real cool, maybe I should call it and see if they see if you can come watch some stuff we do. Yeah. Well, you know, I've been um maybe for. If you were a volunteer at the hospital, I could totally get you in. Okay, sorry, sorry, sweetie. sweetie. Sorry, sweetie. You're doing all right. Oh, Which hospital are you? Mercy General. You know, I, I saved a, I saved a volunteer form a couple of months ago for a hospital. Maybe. I never got around to it. You, you should definitely do it. Then. Yep, that is so the open crop. You nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we established our layers. This tissue layer needs to go over here. Not oh, no, right there. Not really this totes I don't think. I think this I right here is the down. inner yeah, mucosa. That that's the inner mucosa that, yeah. that goes inside. Yeah. And then this <laughs> just comes over this. Yeah. Comes and over this. Yeah. It's Christmas is coming. what I'm going to do. Just those two layers. Year. Although I'm afraid there's a third layer right here. But no, that's just. I think that's where it's just come like apart. That is mm -hmm. what it's supposed to do. Mm -hmm. I but I am going to put a stitch or two in that right there. The crop is what, yeah, is like the most because it's just. I'm sorry. It's interesting, the first day it didn't leak out at it's all. It's a new layer, yeah. So, so it's, it's almost like I wonder if the super glue gave way. Like okay. it worked for a temporary amount because. You know, I looked at it and it was like it has to be replaced. Sorry, every sweetheart. Months, which doesn't make sense. Yes. Well, for, for an internal type thing like that. You don't? Well, you, you can't get to it. From my, <laughs> <laughs> from my, no. Excuse me. When you lift up like that, I can kind of see the end of it. Can it? you shine it right on there? No, I just need another. Don't so you can move it. Tool. tool. Yeah. Yeah. That light's perfect, actually. Keep it where it is. Nope. Yeah. I thought about calling my father in law, but I didn't think he would, he would just tell me to put the chicken down. <laughs> I was like, you don't understand. I knew, I knew you wouldn't. Oh, no. Actually. Oh, sorry, sweetheart. You don't like that. That's the one that's the sensitive that's part. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just think it's better than starvation grits. Yeah. She'll be okay. So the problem is, is that is rolled yeah. in. It's Even a little bit of pain so that's not isn't a bad deal. thing. Uh, when I was talking to Mona on the way over, because this was our concern, you know, her not being able to do any sort of pain management for it. She said, "No, well, you know, surgeries on people used to be without any, mm -hmm. any pain management either. I had a patient and, today. And people survive. You I had know, a patient you today ask me for a life. bullet. And I said, why do you want a bullet? She's like, so I can bite down on it. Because <laughs> she also, some, even people feel pain. And it's just something you got to do. Okay, let's go ahead. Go ahead. Watch your face. Trust me, when the poop juice was flying uh, out during mm -hmm. the... Crop surgery, that's when I was worried about my eyes. I don't oh. mind the wound. Remember when I was like, uh, is there any eye protection? Okay. We didn't think of those things. It's okay. I didn't think of them either until it was happening. Okay. Yeah, right there, super glue, but I'm going to kind of leave that alone because mm -hmm. it does seem to have done its I job. I think that's honestly the only part she might be not, not getting to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's I don't know. If it's so she can she could easily peck my stitches gone as well. 
We're going to cover her immediately. Yeah, so that's the thing we'll wrap something have. right away. Cone of shame and a crown bra. The cone of shame. <laughs> I love that you call it the cone of shame. Okay, so. I didn't even mean to say that. There was this. <laughs> I just. <laughs> there was this part, and I don't know if it's in the video or not. But there was this part where I kept like kind of giggling about it a couple days after where you were like, I think you were holding her and looking to the side and you go, oh, bossy, what have you done? It <laughs> 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 was just so cute. How many of your surgical assistants have been wearing a their ballet skirt. And Under their skirts? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, maybe I know. What's that chart for, for fluffy Josephine? Oh, well, I was trying to make an egg chart, but it didn't end up working because nobody else could tell the eggs apart. And so... She knows what egg is from every chicken. And so now that's just decoration. But you were supposed to mark each chicken if they laid an egg every day. Mm -hmm. Here's another interesting part, Jonah. Yeah, you need to come see. This is how the sutures are going in. I guess I can't do it. Wait, what is it? Suture? Suture. Suture. Some people call them stitches, but they're sutures. Sutures. Stitches are what you do in quilts. So you're going to do both layers? There's I'm going to try to do three layers, actually. I'm going to put a couple in this. How many layers are there? There's well, there's just a skin and then There's two, but there's she's two. kind of made three for us. Bossy. A little bit of a pull, sorry, Bossy. I don't think the crop bothers her. I think it's those layers of tissue that might be hard. Mm hmm. Let me see. She doesn't seem to be. I don't think she could. She with might, you know, when you get the flu, feel kind of nauseous. That's probably maybe how she feels right now. Stuff inside the crop. Yeah. Remember we were talking how there are different types of nerves? Do you want to do me a favor? They, they feel Grab those scissors from in front of me and cut this one that I'm presenting to you right here. Like, just like the nerves right on your just elbow. Just kind of close to the square a little bit They closer, feel a pressure. Closer, a closer, you can tell, right but there. you don't feel any right pain when you pinch you it. It's a different type of reception. So this is an absorbable suture. And when your insides feel bad, like you, you have, when, you're, when your intestines and you get... Uh, it doesn't feel exactly. So John, what I'm doing right here is a running you stitch. There's running Rather stitch and there's interrupted stitch. Interrupted is every time you have to do a knot each time. A running is you do the one knot and then you kind of loop it in a certain manner. Why would you do it? One it completely the other? depends on what you're trying to do. I use them both all the time. If I'm closing deep down and I'm worried about a certain thing, I'll do interrupted. Because what happens with a running? is if one of these fails, yeah. she has really good stitches. If one of them fails, the entire line fails. Whereas with interrupted, if one fails, you still have all the ones next to it. So I'm doing a running locking stitch right here. Her tissue see, is really good. I could also see though how this might be a little more beneficial for her because she might be able to get a hold of the knots, whereas with this buried mm -hmm. in her skin, it's gonna be hard for her to get a hold of And this. also with knots, there's more, her peck there's more suture, there's more suture, just more mass. The only time I've seen her peck at it is when she was on the table and saw the food mm -hmm. sticking out. <laughs> then she went to the food. Last time she's I, been. I wonder if when she's all alone and bored, if she, and well, you don't I've see seen her. It and I thought she's pecking, it and then it she's cleaning the food off the feathers around. Oh. But I mean that doesn't mean she has it. Yeah, you're it's sterile. Because I haven't seen her. Really embarrassing. My sterile field? Right here. I'm yeah. kidding. I'm teasing you. It is. You don't do the sterile field. You're the circulator, right? Yeah. I just took a job, a second job at Sutter, though. And they might train me to do a little bit of scrubbing. So um, can you see like the end of the... Right what there? What does the scrub nurse do? Oh, it's an important job. It's uh, Scrub nurse is huge. Well, circulator is huge. Everything in the OR is huge. There's nothing that you do that's like, oh, we can do it without them. Because if they could, <laughs> they'd get rid of them. Cause I'm it's not all really about circulator as much as like kind of a sedator and circulator. Like she's like I do like, I don't know. You keep us she, this crop part doesn't bother her at all. Scrub, this, scrub nurse sounds like sterilization. Yeah, yeah you're it. doing sterile technique and you're handing the doctor all their stuff and it's more than just handing them that because if you have, if they have to stop and ask for everything, 
and they can't really do their Basically, job. Basically, you like have to read their mind. Every single surgeon, like the back of your hand. And a good scrub tech is use. worth their weight in gold because half the time I just put my hand out and I start to say something, and boom, there's what I need. Mm -hmm. And it makes it go through me. Okay, so now you're going to cut both. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So we're done with that running stitch. Go. No, no, no. no. There you go. There you go. No, no, you're fine. Go a little bit closer. Right there. Perfect. Okay. Right, crap's on. closed. So there's that. Yay for bossy. Do my yoga. Do you want this bench now? You look about that. That might be good, actually. Are you doing your squats? Oh, yeah, there, I am. All right. So that inner mucosa layer was kind of tough, but it was good. We it was a very good, healthy layer. This next layer, we'll see. This, I think, is the layer that might hurt her, huh? No, it's, it's, well, whenever I've touched this, this layer right here, which I'm a little bit worried about, to be honest. Yeah, it's almost like you need a little bit of a protractor. Oh. Hold her tight right now, because I, I really they're getting to a new area where any, she might I react. Have, I'm holding her. So good, good so far. So good. You're doing everything. <laughs> You're really being helpful. Also, probably who knows how calm Bossy would be without you here. All right. Cut me, please. Cut. Okay. Me. No, don't don't say sorry. It's it's fine. Now, if you were one of the employees that did that, I'd be like, yeah, you're sorry. Yeah, go ahead. You gotta go. Okay, there. Make sure I got sharp till a little bit farther in. Of course, um, Stephanie, she put in Simon Dave down. She yeah, actually can do with the running stitch. It's oh. really nice. Yeah, she had something is going on. the tonight. tissue right now? I don't know where it is. And oh, now I do. There were See some that? other ladies here that came and took her. Oh, good. Sasha's putting Simon Dave to bed. So, I went. I'm uh, in my second year of med school, and I went to my parents' house. I uh, was going to school about an hour and a half away from where they lived, and so I would visit them. Yeah, you know. Once or twice a month. Tell me if my pinky's in that field, but I'm kind of no, trying no, to put pressure my, on that last. I'll do my best not to stab you. Right yeah. You see that layer right there? If I can kind of pull it back. No, you're doing, yeah, you are helping. <laughs> um, so I go out to my parents' house, and um, my parents, they keep bees, this and they have dogs so and stuff like that. So much better. Where do they live? Uh, they're out in Brentwood, uh, so an hour and a half from here, even. Hi. So, uh... You're not a huge fan of these? No, no, oh, no, I'm just looking at this layer right here. Yeah. Thing that I, uh, okay. So, yep, got it. So I go out there and their beehive had fallen over. And I was like, okay, so I have to, you know, there's one thing. Yeah, because um, my, my dad was kind of. Do me a favor. Maybe, can you bring the. Oh, never mind. Was, yeah, there you go. Good. Feather control. My, um. <laughs> so I go out there and they have a dog, you know, a black lab named Shadow. And uh, so I'm okay, I'm gonna help the bees. And then they were planting trees, and my kids are up, you know, playing old grandma and grandpa planting trees. And uh, I'm like, hey, can I let Shadow out? Because my boys like, you know, they like the dog. I'm like, yeah, sure, go. So he's in his kennel, nice, huge, big kennel, you know, nice kennel. It's an outdoor kennel, and the eucalyptus trees, they have 16 acres. Um, and so I was like, yeah, cool. Break sign. Oh, oh, yeah, that's the part she doesn't like. There's a nerve right there that she doesn't like me touching. I'm sorry, bossy. So anyway, I go out and I let Shadow out, and Shadow's a black dog, mind you, everything on him is black. And he runs off, and I see like this pink, what I think is a cyst, like this pink cyst on his scrotum. And I was like, oh, another thing I gotta take care of. You know, not like, oh, woe was me, but just like, I'm making mental notes, because every time I go over there, I have to put out a lot of little fires, because my dad is suffering from dementia, and was not really able to do much. So anywho, I'm thinking that, I might go up to him, I was like, hey, when was the last time you guys walked uh, Shadow? And they're like, oh, well, you know, David walks him every day. David's my 40-year-old uh, autistic brother. So he, you know, doesn't have, I mean, he notices the things that he notices, but not everything. So who knows how long this, this cyst has been growing on this dog's scrotum. I think, oh, no big deal, just pop it, whatever. Well, I go up to Shadow to inspect it a little bit closer, and it's not a cyst. That's her nerve. She doesn't like that. I'm sorry, sweetheart. It is, um... Well, I'll just say it. it's a testicle, part of the mammal anatomy yeah, yeah. that is hanging out of his scrotum. <laughs> so what had happened was somehow he tore himself. Oh, this is on camera too. It's a good story. <laughs> somehow, I was about to say, he's going to post all this to me. No, so, just so somehow he tore himself open. I'm like, oh, you got to be kidding me. 
So I'm just thinking like, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Well, my dad's a dentist. He's retired. So he has, sorry, bossy. So he has a bunch of um, medical supplies, you know, because dentists still have to suture people clothes when they do oral surgery and stuff like that. So I have to tell him, and I was like, okay, here's the problem, blah, blah, blah. Got a little bit of meat there on that. And so, um, so he has stitch in this and that, and we're like, how, how, this is a big, healthy dog, how are we going to get this dog to lay down enough for me to do this? It's not like a chicken that we can manhandle. Mm -hmm. And so we look up online, and we call a vet about how do you sedate a dog, and they're like, oh, Benadryl. I'm like, oh, sweet. So we look up the, the weight of the dog, and how much Benadryl you need to give him. We dose him with a bunch of Benadryl, and... <laughs> <laughs> we, it looks really nice, Michael. And my parents, like my dad lays on this dog while I do exactly what I'm doing right now to this dog's uh, scrotum to sew it closed after we flushed it and cleaned it and this and that. Well, the problem with what the dog has is the same problem this chicken has is the uh, outer layer, the, you know, the, the epidermis, the dermal layer, was um, completely healed on itself. Mm -hmm. Meaning it's not going to heal unless you freshen the margins, meaning oh. you have to make the margins bleed. So you had to cut the testicle open again. <laughs> so, <laughs> basically, um, and I didn't want to do that without, you know, giving it an injection, so I did inject it with lidocaine in the spot that I thought might make it numb. Of course, mm -hmm. I don't know a dog's anatomy. Well, we got it to close up and got it to heal, and that was just fantastic, and it was great. And like four months after it was fully healed, it got hit by a car. Oh, <laughs> oh man. And that's how the story ends. Awesome. May not go in traffic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and give me a cup. professional stitcher mm. and it's really fitting because I'm a nurse and so I'm good at pulling poo out oh and my. he's good at stitching people oh up. My. <laughs> so she true. just had a conversation with that. Yeah, we just had that conversation. So she's not gonna like this right now. I'm having to freshen up this margin poop I just lost my now this is gonna be a different stitch and the reason is these are gonna be on the outside. It, well not just that but um, this type of tissue right here has a tendency to invert. Mm -hmm. And if it inverts and you have skin touching skin, that doesn't heal. So what you need is you need this bloody part touching the other bloody part to put it bluntly. I heard a, um, so I have to do an e, a stitch that everts the tissues and there's a lot of different like stitches. Like e, you, want, you want to evert it because you want this part touching the other part. Okay. And right now I'm freshening up that part and she doesn't like it and I'm sorry. She's Bessie. actually doing really well she under is. me. Because I'll tell you, when she moves, it's... I wonder if Benadryl would work on chicken. I'd have to It'd look probably it be up. real easy to Because it her. might work, it might make him hyper or it might kill him. <laughs> Who knows? You know? Because I was like, oh, Benadryl works on a dog. That makes sense. Remember one time okay. the post camp? Mm -hmm. Let me adjust that. Benadryl. Oh, yeah. Do you want us to gauze that wound so that you can get all that blood out of there? I'm just thinking Here, that. Here, will you rip that open, Slash? I just lost the gauze. Here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It works. Let's go. It works all right. Do you know who Michelle is? That's all pretty good stuff. Oh. Okay. It looks so sorry, much better. Mm -hmm. she's, she's, she's in my memory. Oh, she got stung by the bee, so she got Benadryl. I think that's her word. Yep. That's an antihistamine. Yeah, she, so don't, some people, they like go tired, and then some people go sleep. So she goes super hyper. I think and most so adults first it was really Michelle funny. Huh? Michelle Valentine. Oh yeah. At first it was really funny and then at like two in the morning it wasn't funny anymore. Most things aren't <laughs> so as she's funny. She's in the tent. <laughs> it's like an exponential graph. How old is she? She's um well this is a long time ago. Oh. Because <laughs> not super long time. I think the effects on humans vary with age. It's not in my eyes at all. <laughs> it was I think she finally falls asleep. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Can you let her do that so I can get it? It's just, this is her one, like, she must have a, just a nerve innervating this spot right here. Because this is sensitive. Because it's only on this side. Alright. One, one, two, three. How bad will it hurt if she pecks my hand? Um, it doesn't hand. No, not at all. Really? So It'll hurt if I cut you, though, so I'll try not to do that. I'll be like, no, that was the bird. That was the bird that did that. I swear it was the bird. The bird pecked you. Okay. The only time I've been pecked fresh. by a chicken is because we have one untamed one. That's pretty and fresh. She's freaking out because I'm trying to catch I miss those eyes. We are. I don't think she feels us. You can tell when she feels it. She's just Unless she's her. gone into sort of a merciful state of shock where she's tuned to, tuned out now. No, she just tried to get out. Hmm. She's trying to pull it. I think I have Okay. You had noticed in some of the videos that you saw that the birds seemed to just sort of yeah, tune out, like weird. like maybe they were going into shock or something. It's like the oh, ones that were she laying comes out. down, the ones... She's like, I don't, I don't she's think she's like doing that thing you said where she burrows into herself. You know, yeah, like she's got her she's... head tucked in. Yeah. Well, that's she's also just, how I'm holding her. That's how they try. That she's trying to get away from. She doesn't. She's trying to get her head out from your. <laughs> little, little do you know, I have four children, Bossy. <laughs> you can run, but you can't hide. I can pin you down. Poor Bossy. You want to learn to do this, Jonah? I think so. I can bring Give me a cut, buddy. I can bring you home some curved needles. To yeah, this one you can leave a bit of a tail, and what that means is you can leave it just probably halfway long because this is the outside stitch, right. so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I just don't want it to be too long to have for something to irritate or grab onto. All right, home stretch, home stretch, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sweaty to start with. I taught two dance classes tonight. See, I have Georgie had a big like blowout poop in the middle of my class, so I was like, okay, keep doing your shitty turns. I'm gonna just go change this diaper for a minute. See, Abe loves that's the sweaty when I'm watching Abe and he'll like fall asleep leaning mm -hmm. against my shoulder, and then I'd have to peel him off in this huge, wet, nasty spot on me. We're getting right on top of that sensitive spot. She's holding down. I actually think you removed whatever was hard because she got rid of the nerve. I don't know. It was it a nerve or was it? Do you think mm -hmm. like we're? I don't it was know. just something sensitive. Yeah. Usually that's when like you're close to a nerve. Like. So what did you guys have for dinner, Sasha? <laughs> 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 uh, real peace. Oh, oh yeah. So you asked if we you asked if we do. So we had to meat chickens. I grew up doing meat chickens and meat rabbits. And I tell you what, that's another thing I want to start. Rabbit? It, oh, no, rabbits. Oh, rabbits. Delicious. Oh. Almost delicious. Oh, no. I grew up with pet rabbits. They're so good. So good. <laughs> well, we, we successfully did the... In Georgia, and so they can't keep Oops. the rabbits alive because the foxes get them. Oh. Yeah. So if you have cages, but, you know. Oh, he had cages. We had cages Maybe and we hung them. Our had cages were hanging secure. cages. Oh, oh, you gotta hold still, Bozzy. That almost stabbed somebody. I don't know, that'd have been bad for him. Okay. But you're not gonna get any diseases from the chicken. I know, chicken. that's what I was thinking. Unless she has birth flu. No, I'm kidding. If that she doesn't joke. have hepatitis, then that's right. less than what I'm dealing with at work. You won't get anything from chicken? No, I don't think there's any pipe for nails. This is unique. Avian flu. You can get avian flu, exactly. But I'm pretty sure it's not caught like this. Unless there's a lot of people doing bird surgery. I don't know what the viral load is on a drop of blood for avian flu. Stop. We raised meat chickens. Like a hundred or so the first season. I think smaller the second. Um, and we tried the rabbits, but... The rabbits made such an awful sound when we tried to yeah, end their lives. Yeah, it's a very, it's a very uh, disconcerting squeal. Yeah, like we, we, just, we just couldn't do it. We were all crying. We're kids, you know. Mona said, no. 
<laughs> These are not pets. That's so funny. I mean, everyone's. Everyone, I, I remember. Actually, I have a vivid memory, probably because it was traumatic, but I don't remember it that way. Of helping my dad, and I was younger than eight. The only reason I know that is because we moved, you know, to our new house when I was eight, and so we were at the old house, and the way I, my brain remembers it, and it was, you know, time to go and butcher and put one of the rabbits down and so my dad's like come on michael so i'm like i'm like five six or seven and it's like so i go and i help him and he bonked it on the head and it squealed and i remember thinking like oh this is interesting you know <laughs> i mean i wasn't i wasn't you know and then that night i remember thinking this is the yummiest meat i've ever tasted mm -hmm. a little bit longer yeah right there here we go bossy Yay, bossy. You okay. Oh gosh, I was like, seriously, bossy move. Bossy, leave it alone, <laughs> sweetheart. You got it? Leave it alone. Okay, cone shame and a girl. girl. That is tremendous. Do you want to get a close-up of the wound? I'd rather you didn't. It's not my best work. <laughs> it's so much better. Oh my. Hi, Cole. Be, Thank you for... Should have healed in no time. You did such a good job. Really well, her layers were oh hard to find. She's so giving you the stink eye. She looks, she looks bossier than ever. Do you guys have a rooster? We have five. Do you guys have, four, have five. five roosters?